Ja, hallo, mein Name ist Calvin. Trust ja, bist du nicht. Ja, willkommen zu meiner Reiz. So, ja, um, I think I've been recording an episode in over two, three weeks. I think three weeks. Of the about yeah, three weeks. And the reasons why I didn't was because of this particular episode, interestingly. I um, took a break, or what I would call detox, the social media detox specifically. It wasn't a full social media detox because I was still um, on WhatsApp and I still checked YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So, but I would explain why those two still had to um, be included while I was trying to detox from every other social media platform. So, yeah, if um, you are not under the rock and you are living in the 21st century, you understand that by now social media is living in our life and how we move and in our being. <laughs> yeah. So, and from time to time, I always try to like understand if we could actually do without social media. And I think my answer to that is no and yes. Okay. So let me break it down. So for the no part, um, basically, only I, I think in my own field, right? But basically many things are really tied to social media, right? In the sense that even if you are just a government worker, you will have to probably get some sort of news from social media. You can take entertainment from watching clips on different social media platforms, viewing status from your family members, making calls, um, chatting to other family members and friends. That's like an easy way to communicate with these people. And if you are like a, um, you are someone that your job is engraved in tech generally, you have to, um, how I put it, you have to be on social media to get some news and some updates that you would practically not get in the confines of your room or your home, if I will put it that way. That's the no part. So why we can't do without social media? And the yes part is if you can reroute your, um, your means of communication, your means of getting news to specific channels, which is practically hard, but it's very possible and feasible. You could um, find a way to detach yourself from social media. So I know some people that they aren't using some specific social media platforms, which are quite popular. And I know some that um, don't even use any of them at all. You understand? And I've tried to like understand where both parties are coming from. And all I can say is that it's quite possible, but it's very hard in this day and time because you find um, you find things that should probably just be done via mail or something will be connected to your social media platform. So let me even explain my own point of view and how I stand. So um, roughly around 2017, right? I was even 2017. I think it was 2015. Yeah, around 2015, I. My phone was seized. <laughs> and what happened was, I think I was watching a movie or so. I can't remember exactly what I was doing. But my aunt seized my phone. I seized this for roughly three months. And when I got the phone back, I just wasn't connected to it as much as I was before the first time my phone was seized, right? So, um, I think roughly six months after I gave my phone was seized again. <laughs> Yeah, so I was a good boy growing up, yeah. And should I say my connection to it reduced more because I felt, the part of me just felt, because this is my friend anytime, so just live your life in such a way that <laughs> if this is your phone tomorrow, you'll be fine, you understand? And that has always been like a driving force for me personally. So at some point, I was even robbed. So I was off social media and my... Um, smartphone for a while also i think for over a year yeah no no okay the first one okay so i've, I've been robbed twice <laughs> backstory don't <laughs> pr- i'll probably talk about that in the future but i've been robbed twice and the first time i think i was able to get an iphone in less than a month or two 
And the second time, I intentionally didn't get a phone for over a year. So um, I, I think throughout the pandemic, I wasn't on, I, it's only, I wasn't on social media, but I wasn't with a smartphone because I could access some of these platforms when I needed, but I majorly used Telegram, which reduced my interactions with other people in the sense that most people don't use Telegram for communication. So if you have to really be important or you consider me as an important person, to want to chat with me on telegram so th- that was like my stand and f- I-, I just noticed something about me that after six months after eight months probably a year i would do, always crave to take my foot off the pedals of the social media age which is a bit ironic because my job is um somehow fragmented in a digital society right and yeah, and that's where it became more complicated for me this year, which I took a break. So uh, in the month of June, I was practically off social media, except for WhatsApp and YouTube, which I, I promised to explain, and which is where my work becomes very fragmented. So currently I'm at my company, our major means of communication is email and WhatsApp. So we have groups on WhatsApp and if you are communicating with clients, external clients, we use um, emails sometimes and sometimes even external clients, we use Skype and WhatsApp also. So um, so I, I was having an issue to technically turn off my WhatsApp because of work in the sense that if I turn off my WhatsApp, which means I'll be going against company policy of means of communication. So people will find it hard to reach me, which would potentially help me to lose my job <laughs> if you get what i mean and also for youtube um practically that's why i learn a lot i watch tutorials watch some other cool videos yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah youtube and but apart from those two platforms what i even eventually did i took some steps to ensure i try not to initiate conversations with anyone for that one month which led me to mute everyone on my st- WhatsApp status and um, also disable my recipient from people noticing if I read that message or not. <laughs> yeah, and I even disabled it to know if I was online. Like, I just tried to make steps to um, limit my interactions with these platforms. I turned on this do, do, do not disturb mode. I, um, I took these various steps just to try out taking myself off social media for a month. And trust me, it worked because. When I came back, I think I came back with full force on social media, but it helped me to be able to, um, should I say, reassess things, um, make some decisions, um, and also try to process some other things in my life. So I, I quite learned a lot during that phase, but the sad part is something suffered. So before that detox mode, I created a um, WhatsApp group for learning data, data structures and algorithm. But that group was the dying because I wasn't actively involved anymore and stuff like that. Um, before I go on, I would just like us to take a quick break. And when we come back, I would break down more of my detox and how I think it helps every other person and why we should all try it out from time to time. Yeah, welcome back. So if you were listening and listening to me blabbing, <laughs> ranting as usual, you must have understood my um, the, the timeline of my story, right? So back to why we should all detox. Now, what I've noticed is the fact that you we all claim to be very busy, which is very true. And I, I think I'm quite busy lately more than usual. And I, I don't think I know anyone that isn't busy per se. We are all busy doing something and most of the time something very productive and th- this has led us to have this mentality that we don't have time to do any other thing so we just have for me personally i, I think earlier that was last year i had a triangle my life was some sort of like a triangle let me pick it up so i have my house i have my church and i have my school those are like the three things i do in every almost every day you could tell where I would be within a specific time frame, which is early in the morning, 7.30, I'm out of the house, 
going to work, get to work and back at home, sorry, back in school by 5 or 5.30 and I'm out of school probably by 8, 9 or 10 and I'm back home probably working till late at night, then sleep off, do the same thing. And I, really, I was doing this and on Sundays I'm in church, get back home in the afternoon, try to rest or probably go see family members. Like really my my life was basically that triangle i wasn't really like going out per se maybe we'll probably when friends come around and okay let's try to just go something yeah i wasn't like consciously trying to go out constantly so if you get what i mean and now a part of that triangle has removed which is um sorry i said triangle which is house my house work okay sorry let me move my house how it makes it a triangle is work school and church yeah so now it's just um school and sorry work and church which got school i i graduated from yabate yay <laughs> so yeah um um basically my life is just in those two phases and trust me i i think i had more time to do more things when i left yabate but the beautiful part is I set a higher bar for myself to reach before the end of this year. In fact, the first half of this year, I had a plan to just learn as much of React, which is JavaScript library for the front end. And that's been an awesome ride. I've learned quite a number of things. I've applied for, to a number of companies and just getting the interview feel and trying to learn as much as possible. And also, I got um, promoted at work. I, I think I mentioned this before, but yeah. <laughs> so I got promoted at work a couple of times, you know, once, technically, once, but twice, if, if you really consider some things. Yeah. So I got promoted at work, um, I um, I have some people I'm managing at work technically, and I, I'm in charge of it, quite a number of things and projects as well. So which means more responsibilities and me thinking I have more time, now I have less time. If you get what I mean. And w- what I noticed from the whole social media detox, was that I had time to do other little things I never considered. Little things like reading books. Yeah, I like to read books and I read books sometimes to them, but I wasn't consistent. Didn't mean that I was more consistent when I took my detox, but I, I found, figured that I had time to do these little things and some other things I wanted to do. I had time to sleep more. Trust me, I slept more, <laughs> which means I slept earlier. Yeah, I still woke up earlier, but I slept earlier. I went, I started jogging. That's exercise or whatever. I'm still looking for a gym that I would probably register <laughs> a membership for. Yeah, so but, but basically, I figured that I had time to do other things. Not because of, um, not that I couldn't do social media at those times too. But taking a step back made me realize that this time I just have to reallocate my resources to the right thing. Um, as Peter Amso always say, um, or not Peter Amso, it's really in the Bible where your, where your, um, your treasure is, your heart will follow. So, um, we, I just had to reallocate what my treasure is and ensure that my heart followed that, if you get what I mean. So basically what I'm just trying to drive at is the fact that we should all from time to time try to take social media detox or detox in general. So it can be detox from friends, it can be detox from movies. I tried that also. I'll probably, that would probably be my next episode of, I'll discuss it with someone else. Well, yeah, I tried to take the talks from all these things. And interestingly, this was probably the last episode of this season, which means that um, from the next season, I will try to start implementing most of the things I learned from this season and from the feedback I got, I'll start implementing. And some of the things that I was able to drive at is the fact that um, some of my um, listeners, most listeners these days, just enjoy me talking, having discussions with other people which I would try to get more people on the podcast, which is a bit harder, but I will try. <laughs> yeah. And um, thank you very much for listening this far. This is probably the 20th episode of this podcast. And you have been an awesome, awesome, awesome man. Awesome man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But basically, that, that's um, what I've learned. And I think I've noticed something about myself. I'm more, taking more of experiments on myself to try new things and try some weird things out yeah which i've tried and it's it's been fun and it's been eye-opening let me put it that way so I, what one of the things i try to advise is try to take um 
try new things, try new opportunities, take risk, basically do all these things because you only live once, <laughs> which means you get an opportunity to do something probably just once in a lifetime. But you might get more opportunities, but we never know until we get the next opportunity. So do these things, try to um, pay attention to little things like this. And also try to spend more time with family. I have lately, and that's been fantastic. I, I don't know how to put it, but spend more time with family. It gives me a different perspective about a lot of things. Which I would want to talk about in another episode going forward. But yeah, have an awesome day, evening, night, whatever time <laughs> so you are currently in. But yeah, my name is Kazim. And don't forget, this is not out of my head. Please and please and please. I think what I will do going forward is to ensure I create a Twitter and a, an Instagram handle for this podcast so I separate it from my life because... Even my life, I don't want to put social media that much. <laughs> you get what I mean? But yeah, I'll try to do that and also push it out on social media. I'm very terrible with social media. But if you are willing and interested to join me on pushing this podcast forward, please, 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 please send me a mail at kodrikazim or durant with kazim at gmail.com. So kodrikazim, very one at gmail.com or durant with kazim at gmail.com. Or if you have, you can drop in my DM. I would love it. Please. I need I need help with social media. I really need help. Trust me, I do. I do. So, well, just let me know and um, have an awesome day. Don't forget, this is rant out my head with cousin. God bless you.